Hey guys, what's going on? Evelyn here. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. So guys, Legion is almost here. Seven hours from now, Legion is going to launch. And I'm so excited. <laughs> there guys, I'm just really happy that we're finally free of one. And that we can actually do something decent now. And actually have a lot of fun in the game. Because I kind of gave up in Wild. I just kind of didn't really want to do anything. Uh, plus I was going through a rough time in my life, you guys know. But that's not being said. That We're going to talk about something different today. Which is actually, you guys know we're, we're all going to be leveling. So I'm going to be going over a leveling guide for each of the four specs that I currently play. Which is Survival Hunter, Arms Warrior, Subway Rogue and Havoc Demon Hunter. So first we're going to go over Survival Hunter. I'm show you the artifact abilities that I'm going to be using as I level. As well as the talents I'm going to be using. So let's go over the talents first. First thing you want to go for throwing axes. Why the Merc is okay when you stack it into four times. Well, you gotta keep restacking this and it can drop if you're not watching what you're doing. Troy X is by far the best though, because every one of your abilities costs a lot of focus. By far the best choice, you can also use that at range as well. Really good choice. Next up, Murder Pros, not gonna even gonna talk with you two. This one's by far the best. When you click current target, it resets. So pretty much kill target in 15 seconds, you get a free use of it again. Kill target, get a free use of it again. Kill target, get a free use of it again. It also coincide with survivalists, which every time you kill a target, you get 15% of your health back for over 10 seconds, which is really, really nice. Next up we have is post haste. You just want to go post haste over the other two by far. Dash is like, you can use Aspect Eagle anyway, so there's no point in going dash. Fast Rider uh, has a chance to crit, but the problem is you have to crit with this, and then that only has 10% chance, not that great. Whereas post haste gets you out of roots and snares and stuff like that, and it also gives you 60% increased movement speed for 8 seconds. By far the best choice of the trick. Next up, Proof Trap by far the best. Which is the cooldown your freezing trap, making a 20.4 second cast. Means you can trap really often. But so basically, when it comes off the ore, then Explosive Trap and Hair Trap. Explosive Trap hits multiple targets when you use it. So that means you're going to be able to AoE do multiple AoE damage. And you also carve and make you know, multiple damage. If you try on your Tire Trap or roots all the targets in place in case you need to get away or stuff like that, you know? So it's pretty awesome like that. Next up, we have is Camouflage. This is by far the best choice. It heals you for 2% of your health every one second while your pet's tanking the mob or whatever. You might, might, might be able to use this just to keep yourself alive or something like that. Makes you get aggro or anything like that. Then Ranger's Net is also nice because if you use this, you can range a mob, uh, root it, put your pet back in there, heal a bit, and then send your pet back in. So really what kind of way you want to play depends on which way you want to go with these two. I'll leave it up to you which one you choose. I'm personally choosing Camouflage though. So everyone's thinking best choice here because you can keep reapplying it to the current target. Allowing you to get this build to use every time you want to use it. But Dragon's Fire Grenade kind of has a cooldown, a really long cooldown, it's not really worthwhile. Expert Trap are by far the best choice, no need to mention your two. Explosive Trap damage increased by 75%, and Freezing Trap slows the target's movement speed by 50% when the trap expires. And then Tire Trap allows you to root the targets in place, which pretty much allows you to kite around a few mobs, they taking way too much damage. Okay, so for your artifact builds, obviously you gotta go with Fury of the Eagle and Iron Talents because you've got no choice there. Then you want to make a choice to go to the left here for Hellcraver because your carve damage by 10% which is really nice for each additional target hit. So it means that you can hit 5 targets and probably do 50% more damage which is quite a lot of damage, really really nice. Then you can also go to Raptor's Cry increasing your Raptor Strike damage because you got to go this way unfortunately. Then next one you want to go to is Explosive Force increasing Explosive Trap damage by 10%. So this is like an awesome awesome thing you've already got 75% so it's 85% increased damage explosive trap with your talents and your artifact abilities which is by far the best choice then you want to go down to aspect the sky door because this gives you 3% increased damage when you use aspect the eagle which makes your aspect the eagle kind of like a proper bursty damage ability which I like then you want to go to hunter's god reducing the cooldown of your traps by 20% by far the best choice here and then you're going to want to backtrack a bit down to raptors by you go straight up to Hunter's Bounty, reduce the remaining cooldown of your consideration by 15 seconds for each time you kill an enemy. So pretty much, if you keep killing enemies like 4 or 5 enemies, you'll almost have an acceleration up every time you pop a cooldown on your mobs and stuff like that and killing them really quickly. Then you kind of have a choice here, whether you want to go this way or this way. I don't know, it's kind of hard to choose, but I guess fluffy go, fluffy go, up this way, then come back down here. You get your embrace of the aspects, reduce the cooldown of your aspects, grow by 20%, which is really nice. And then birds are play, wrap the strikes huge over 10% damage deals. Last you go for talent strikes, give your basic attacks a chance to trigger two rapid additional blows. 
which is really really nice and after that which way you want to go is kind of up to you like i said go around this way up here down here down here there and you can go up this way this way down down here down here down here and then you can probably backtrack around here and then here okay so next up we have a sully rogue basically master of the sully is best choice here by far 10 percent more damage when you activate shadow dance or come out of stealth by far the best next up is subterfuge give yourself two more seconds on shadow dance giving you a five second shadow dance you can go night stalk give yourself 20 percent more speed and give yourself 12 percent more damage but honestly subterfuge by far the best two more seconds with shadow dance always worth it now deeper stride jam used to be worth it right now but it's not worth it anymore but simple fact is vigor kind of just outranks it by 50 percent more energy and pretty much giving yourself 10 percent more least enemy generation by far which is the best Next up is Soothing Darkness, definitely the best choice, activates during Shadow Dance. Uh, by far the best choice here, Prey of the Week, because this gives you 10% more damage when you cheap shot, can you or blind around the target. Probably not the best in AoE situations, but you haven't really got a choice here. Next up is Premedition, giving yourself a extra comp point on cheap shot and shell strike. And before I go down to the next one, I want to make sure that Subterfuge, when you activate Shadow Dance, this is why this one's the best. Shadow Dance gives you 200% more increased damage on your Shuriken Storm, which pretty much is your AoE ability. And last one we have is Mark Vedette. Now, Master of Shadows is really nice, but Mark Vedette is better, but some of the fact is if you put this on a target and kill it within the minute, you pretty much get it again and again and again. And then you just get free eviscerates on your current targets and just go boom, 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 boom and kill them all. So let's go into the artifact ability. Okay, so for Sully Rogue, you want to obviously go down this way, obviously Gummer's Bite into Shadow Fangs. Then you want to make your way down to Fortune's Bite, giving yourself 15% chance to generate two calm points, which is really, really nice. Then the Breast of Darkness giving you Absorb, which gives you more survivability. Then when you get down to Prisoner Strikes, this isn't really that much of an increase, but it doesn't do sure Shadow Strike damage. Make your way to Shuriken Storm, giving yourself additional damage in your AoE. So when you use Shadow Dance, spam Shuriken Storm kind of thing, which makes you do a lot of damage. Then you want to go to NGX Stabbing, giving you a cheap shot and shadow strike, a chance to refund 15 energy. Then you get yourself more dodge from Ghost Armor, more dodge from Kadek Reflexes, which gives you immune to falling damage as well, which is by far the best. And then you want to go Shadow Souls for that 10 extra seconds on Shadow Blade. And lastly, Shadow Nova, giving you more AOE damage when you exit stealth and explodes on all the targets. Uh, then a turn of you can make away to Quiet the Knife, giving yourself increased damage on Backstab, and then finally Arcanist Soul. Now this one isn't really that increased 15% chance of eviscerate, you can kind of go for this last I guess. Because it you know what I mean, it does alright I guess, I mean it's not the greatest. But a nice blade, damage, more damage, not the greatest for AoE. You know what I'm saying, like, then lastly if you want to go down here you can go down to finality, giving yourself eviscerate more damage. Okay, so next up we have is Demon Hunter. Now out of the three here you can kind of go either way which way you want. Now honestly out of the three I kind of prefer this one, because the simple fact it gives you 25 fury when you use Fire Rush as well. Next up is Demonic Appetite, and you really want this over your tubes, because when it activates the Soul Fragments, you can also heal off the Soul Fragments. First Blood, the best choice of the tree here, but simple fact is, with just the Fury cost of Blade Dance, and increase its damage to 153k against the first target struck. Then you've also got Soul Rending, which heals you for 100% leech with Metamorph Sacred, by far the best choice here. You can go with another walk if you want to use this kind of way to get away from targets, but you already get your blood for free, so why would you do that? Next one up is Nemesis. The reason you use this over your two is because when you slay a target, even though you do 20%, it'll give you 20% chance against all your targets that you're hitting. Most likely they're all going to be the same kind of thing, so therefore you're going to AoE down really, really quickly. Now, next one is Demon Reborn. The reason why this is because when you invoke Metamorphosis, it resets the cooldown I Beam, Chaos Nova, and Blur. And then you need to survive a bit better, so you could like Blur off at the start of the mobs doing way too much damage. Now, on the next tier, people would say Chaos Blades might be slightly better, but Fell Barrage is more of an AoE ability which has 5 stacks. So you can stack up 5 times, just go boom, 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 and take down targets really, really quickly if you're having trouble killing them. And I feel like by far this is the best choice of the tree here. Okay, so let's get into the artifact abilities. Now, obviously, you gotta go Fury Deal Dari, which is a really nice ability. The AoE is multiple targets in 3 seconds with nearby enemies. Obviously, you're going to go walk the of Chaos, increase the Chaos damage. But the thing is, you're going to go off to Unleash Demons first. And the reason you want to go this way is because you reduce the cooldown of your Metamorphosis. Then next, you're going to go to Blade Dances. And the reason we go Blade Dances is because this allows you to do more damage by the amount of targets you hit on your Blade Dance, which is really nice. 
Then you want to go up to Demon Speed, and this is where the Blur account for Fell Mastery comes in. Basically, when you activate your this your Blur, you will then be able to have two charges more of your Fell Rush. So you get Fell Rush twice, doing damage targets, activate your Blur, Fell Rush targets two more times, therefore doing a heck of a lot of damage on all the targets before they even get to hit you once. Uh, a Dairy Knowledge, just magical damage, take about 12%, and then go up to Rage of the Old Dairy, because when you use your your ideal diary and this expires the six percent of damage erupts on all targets dividing that case damage when we all them by enemies which makes you do heck of a lot of damage then once you've got that then you want to make your way over here to sharpen glaives over here you've got your feast on the souls which makes your soul fragments give you a just cool down eye beam and chaos nova so more eye beam damage better which means you could go into blade fury but honestly not the best choice but you want to make your way over here to inner demons after using uh Deceivers fury making yourself do heck of a lot more chaos damage to all enemies around you there's all the a b damage and then finally you might want to make your way up to uh chaos vision increasing your rb damage and then finally anguish of the deceiver therefore giving you more rook damage but honestly the best choice i said is to go around this way up here and then back down here and across to here and then finally back up to here Okay, so next up we have is Arms Warrior. So we're going to go over talents. First one and foremost, definitely sweeping strikes. More strike next to you hit the second nearby target. And then you do a lot of AE damage, which will coincide with more combo, which is in the moment. We have Shockwave, obviously being able to stun multiple targets. By far the best choice here. No point in point talking about these two. Uh, especially since we have no honor talents at this point. Now, next one you can go Avatar or you can go Fear for Battle, depending on your playstyle. Fear Battle does make you do more damage on Whirlwind, but honestly, Avatar is just such a strong cooldown to pass down. It's only 1.5 minute cooldown, so it's not too bad. Next tier, you want to go Second Wind. The reason why you go Second Wind is because when you're in combat, 5 seconds, you're going to regen 7% of your health just through Second Wind, never having to use food at all. Bow Combo, really nice because it allows you to hit multiple targets with your sweeping strikes. And you've also got Deadly Cam, which pretty much makes it so you can spam Whirlwind or any AoE abilities. Next up is something to the strikes. Now, this is by far the best, honestly, because of the simple fact is the procs literally a lot of the time got a 60% chance and does quite a lot of damage, actually. It does by far the best. So you're going to go for anger management, making yourself have your battle cry more often, which will make, obviously, deadly camp a bit more viable. Depends on your kind of choice. I guess so, with opportunity strikes more based on a kind of single target, killing one target rotation. And um, anger management might be slightly better on an AOE rotation depending on how often you're using Warwind and you might even think about going into Fearful Battle as well. Next up we have is the Arms Artifact Ability. So first and foremost is Warbreaker, 101k damage and maybe cost Smash Woman cool now not too bad. Then you've also got Thorland's Might which we'll talk about in a moment. This is important for a heals. Next up we have is one that gets many, Leave it does damage to all targets in front of you. For every target hit you do 6% additional damage on Warwind. So five targets hit would be 30% increased damage which is really, really nice. Then you've also got Touch of Zekia's Stonker heals you for 9% damage you deal with more Strike. So obviously the increased damage of more Strike, as well as having more combo and also having sweeping strikes, hit two targets means you're going to heal for 18%, which is not too bad I guess for each time you use more Strike. And you've also got the fact that you've got more and more Strike damage, so a little bit more healing. I mean it's not great, but it's it's, it's okay I guess. Next up we have is Unending Rage, you've got to go this way for the field to get Boy Cleave. Give you 30% more rage, not too bad. Then you've also got Void Cleave. Void Cleave strikes at least targets, Storm Cry, release the burst, dealing a certain amount of damage to all enemies. Then you have Many of a Fall, increases Whirlwind damage by 15%, which is really, really nice. You can additionally go into Focus for Battle if you want more damage in Cluster Smash, but you don't really need to because you're going to be wanting to do more AoE damage, but I would probably go with this anyways. Then make your way to Precise Strikes making your cost of smash and your reduce the cost of your more strike and XQ, which is really, really nice. And then you want to go into Put the Blood of Zakias, give yourself more shadow damage on your attacks when you activate Battlecry. Then make your way up to Tactical Advance. In your up leap, you get 3% increased armor and parry for 4 seconds. So you leap into a couple of targets, you're not taking too much damage. And then if you want to go up the top, you can make your way to Slam, Will of the First King, which is one of these rarely matter too much. You get more critical strike chance on your whirlwind gives you more uh, rage which is not too bad but you mostly want to get to exploit the weakness increase your tactician's chance to proc the rage chance by 30% more 
So yeah guys, there we have it. That's all of the abilities for each class and artifact abilities to leveling. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave the video a like. I really would appreciate it. Let me know you guys enjoyed the content. And if you have any comments or questions, just leave them down below. I'll try our best to answer them. But anyways guys, if you want to see more content like this, just hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. But as always guys, this is Evno. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next one.